Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your yeah, days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are going to be jumping into the band known as Fate Gear with a song called Live in Blood. It's been a while since we've heard the Sky Pirates, man. Like, you know, that's literally the first song I ever heard by them. And this seems similar in terms of style from what I can tell just from the opening shot and that type of stuff. I couldn't find lyrics for the life of me. I decided I'd make a few changes. Obviously, I have a Patreon and I have some patrons, which is all cool. And, like, I thought I'd add them onto every single video from now on. There's some pre-recorded so that I don't have it yet, but basically all new videos will have this at the top. So if you want to be part of my community, then feel free, man. Got a Discord, all that good shit if you want to chat. Have lots of cool shit, guaranteed requests, guaranteed live stream requests, all of that cool shit, man. Then feel free to join up and all that shit, but still. Without further ado, let's jump into this, man. Let's see how this is going to go. It's been a while, actually. It's a, it's a lot heavier than I remember, but I love the synths, man. The synths are gorgeous. Oh, she's got a beautiful girl. Is it like two different growls in one? It sounds like it to me. Like, it sounds like multiple different growls are like, like, almost simultaneously happening. Like, to, to my ears, like, I could be mistaken on that, but that's literally what it sounds like. It sounds like she's going very much into her vocal fry. And then it's almost like she's got two, like, you know, the way it's mastered. It's like, it's got two things basically at the same level, just going across it. So it adds more depth and flavor into the vocal itself. Um, it's interesting to say the very least about it, but, like, I know they do very amazing cleans as well. So, like, I'm not going to judge on how they master the music or anything, but it's an interesting thing to notice. Though. And we're going straight fucking power mode. All right, okay. Alright, okay, so like, obviously I'm not getting the 100% of the lyrics as I'm not really focusing on the lyrics at this point, but if you try to take my life, I will like, have self-defense, I will kill you back, basically. Like, honestly, like, like I can totally understand where they're coming from, because like, self-defense is important, man, if you try to take my life or their life or whoever's life, you deserve to have your life taken too. That's a total fair fucking game, mate. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process between the growl and the cleans, man. It's very pretty to listen to. It's really awesome to listen to, man. Oh, yeah, I've also changed the way I record things also. So if things seem different, it's because I'm trying to improve qualities and shit. So it might not always be perfect, but we're going to see how things go, man. But either way, let's keep going. Exactly. I don't believe in guns that much, man, but I totally, I get why you would, like. Yeah. Basically saying she's going to defend herself for the very last moments, which is total fair game, mate. Especially in a fucking violent country, or wherever the fuck you happen to be, man, but... That's some gorgeous fucking bass, man. Shit. Oh, shit. Going fucking crazy on that. Like, that's mellow. That's stalking up. Guitar player, man. What the fuck? She did fucking gloves, man. I know, it, she, I know she isn't actually playing it, but in gloves, man. That's ridiculous. I've never seen, like, so many play guitar in gloves, man. My first time for everything. 
fucking gorgeous player, man. This band is incredible. They've gotten so much better since I last saw them. Like, leaps and fucking bounds, mate. Oh, that piano is gorgeous, man. That's awesome. Oh, man. So it's like two totally different like styles. So it has the pi the piano, and it has the synth. The synth are done via the, via the keyboard, obviously. So, and the vocal, and like the layering of the track, right? So they have like keyboard, and then they have like piano. Like basically, like play different, like at different times. But obviously, the glide though the keyboard has to be like on both sets of keys in order to play both at the same time. Or they have one pre-recorded track and one track being played, or whichever way you want to go about it. If you've ever seen the J-pop artist Elisa, the way her keyboard is worked, he's on both at the same time, which is fucking amazing to listen to and watch even from Manchester so, but still. <laughs> I got proper chills from this man, this is awesome mate. That drum line was sexy though. How he just fell right into the Fucking like guitar line that was gorgeous. Oh, that's a sick girl. I love it. That was awesome, man. Fake it. I fucking smashing it, mate. Like. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it actually turned out to be, man. That was fucking awesome. From like every every person in the band had their moment, had bass, had keyboard, had guitar. Man, the vocalist was insane, and the whole song was just pure fucking insanity. And in all honesty, I fucking loved it, man. Like that was awesome. I'm a huge fan of Japanese metal, as you guys probably know by now. And this is just adding to my list, man. I'm happy to see bands that I found ages ago just coming back with amazing shit, man. Like. I remember when Unlucky Morpheus first put up Black Pentagram and look how far they fucking come now compared to where they started. Like, I, I remember like the Sky Pirates from Fake Gear and now they're up to this level, man. And it's just like, um, I can't wait to see where else other bands go, man. And like, I saw where Devil Loop started the other day and like, we've heard things that they've done recently and it's just like two different levels, man. The Japanese metal scene is just absolutely smashing the world right now. Like, out of anywhere in the world right now, the Japanese metal scene is just up there. It's just like, you know what? Nothing is touching that shit, man. With bands like Death's Core, Devil Louvre, Jaluka, fucking um, Nocturnal Bloodlust, up to name a few bands, like Unlucky Morpheus, like I already mentioned, and loads of other bands in that space. It's just, there's so many bands that are just, you know what? You want to try to come into the metal scene and actually be considered the best when you got to beat these bands, and these bands are fucking next level shit, so... I hope you guys enjoyed, man. I'm so happy to just be constantly finding amazing music in my life as music is such a huge part of me. And I know a lot of you too, as like music is just, I listen to music for maybe at least 10 hours a day. Like, it must be at least 10 hours a day, if not more, man. It's like, music is like an essential part of everything I do, but still. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening or night. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then. Take it easy.